Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus. How beautiful is this place? It is the time before the sunrise, early in the morning when the sun is rising, a time when darkness and light are mixed. Can you see how beautiful this city is charged before? The turn of the lights, what you see there is the Mount of Olives. It is heartwarming to see the Mount of Olives. Are you seeing? Where am I looking at the city from? Not only that, an amazing part called the City of David is present in this place. The place where the temple is located is next to it. If we see from here, we can see Mount Zion, Mount of Olives and Mount Scopus. This is a beautiful place from where we can see all the mountains. Are you wondering where is this place located? I am speaking to you from the rooftop of the Revival Prayer Center which the Lord has given us. Isn't it very beautiful? Even you should come to Jerusalem. You should come and visit these places. Come with us on the Revival Tour. Visit all these places and pray. It will be a great blessing to you. May the Lord's blessing rest upon you. Shall we pay attention to what the Lord says today? In Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. I am the Lord God of all flesh in the world. The Lord asks, Is there anything too hard for me? He is looking at you and asking this. Daughter, he is looking at you and asking this. Son, he is looking at you and asking this. Dear brother, dear sister, he is looking at you and asking this. Is there anything too hard for me? Answer him. He needs your reply. You are thinking that your problems are great. You are thinking that your sickness is great. The Lord says, can I not change it? Can I not heal you? Can I not meet your needs? Can I not open a way for you? Is there anything too hard for me? It is possible only if a miracle happens in this. If not, it is finished. Are you in such a situation? The Lord says, I will do it. He asks, what miracle is too hard for me? I remember once a brother had cancer. He was affected by the disease. It spread across his body. Doctor said that it was the fourth stage. That means there is no treatment left. There is no chance for recovery. This is what it means. They had come to pray. They said the doctors have said it is finished. There is no medical treatment left. There is no chance for survival. It has gone to the fourth stage. That's all. It is all finished. There is a chance only if a wonder happens. Won't Jesus perform that wonder? Isn't it possible for him? Jesus can do what medicine cannot. He did it for me. That miracle happened to me. He will do it for you as well. So the Lord says, is there anything too hard for me? Doctors will tell you the prevailing condition. Why are you afraid of it? The Lord says, I am a God who does wonders. I can perform wonders. He asks, is there anything that I cannot do? It instilled a great faith within him. I believe that Jesus can do it. Even if everyone abandons me, Jesus can do it. He said, the Lord performed a miracle. He was fully transformed to the extent where they said, no cancer, he can do it. He happily came with the report and said they have given a result saying there is absolute no trace of cancer. I saw that report. That brother showed it to me and said, see, they have given a report saying I am cancer free. There is no cancer. How did it happen? In the fourth stage, in a situation where everything was finished, a miracle happened. It was Jesus who performed that miracle. It is he who looks at you and asks today, Is there anything too hard for me? Tell me, son, is there anything too hard for me? Tell me, daughter, then why are you afraid of the situation? Then believe that Jesus will perform a miracle for me in this matter. A miracle will definitely happen. Do you believe it now? If you say so, raise your right hand. Jesus, there is nothing too hard for you in my life and family, in my matters, in this matter. Let a miracle happen in the name of Lord Jesus. I believe it. I am expecting a miracle in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. Amen.